Okay, here's my Mac Mini. I'm just going to plug the eGPU cable into the port here. As soon as I've done that, the symbol appears on my Mac there. And I'm now able to disconnect if I want to. I'm running a HP Z32X monitor it runs in 4k natively that's why we've got mac os x on um, so just to get a baseline using the built-in intel graphics i've got unit in heaven here let's give it a go Very stuttery already. How many frames are we getting there? Wow. Maybe two. It's just because the uh, built-in Mac Mini integrated graphics is working so hard to run at 4K. Not really workable, is it? Alright, let's quit out of this. As you saw before, the benchmark was barely usable at two to three frames a, a second. Um, so what we're going to do here is just enable the eGPU to do that. Got to go get info on the application. It's popped up here. Now what we do is we prefer eGPU, tick that box, close that down, close this down, and let's just restart it. Okay, now that we're on the eGPU, let's give another go. Wow, that's looking a lot better now. So we've got about 20 frames, 22 frames per second. That's at least a tenfold increase. It's getting a bit smoother now. Twenty-one frames. Just in the corner there. Definitely a bit more workable. Still not brilliant though. I'll just quit out of this. If you enjoyed this video, please like or subscribe and the next video I'll do will be how the video card improves in-game performance playing Civilization 6 on PC.